Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD Deals. I'm back with a very interesting tool review. So the tool that I'm going to review today is SFTP Cloud. If you are a FTP or SFTP user, you are going to find this tool incredibly useful. This lets you manage your SFTP and FTP services. And by managing, I mean you can make your SFTP or FTPs more secure, more manageable with the features of FTP Cloud. So as you can see, these are some of the features, the setup is very quick and super simple there are protocols that you can configure you can easily control who is allowed to connect to your server you can either use ftp clouds storage but if you already have one from s3 gcs or azure blob you can also bring those storages to your sftp cloud account and then manage them in the dashboard there are also some other features such as these ones the ftp servers are not secure at all i'm talking about the traditional ones and this is where as SFTP cloud shines it makes your server more secure with user control encryption and your data and the best part is all of this is cloud native so you don't have to worry about losing your data and obviously you can bring your data from a lot of different platforms as you can see if you want to buy this amazing tool, this is the perfect time because it is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is close to $600 but at AppSumo you are getting it at only $39. So you can save 93% of your money by purchasing from AppSumo. If you want to buy the AppSumo deal, you can check the link in the description box of this video. So these are the features of SFTP cloud. There are protocols for both SFTP and FTPS. There is webhooks, email notifications, S3 access, custom domain and static IPs. And these are some of the tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So the tier 1 costs $39 with 200 GB storage. The tier 2 costs $99 with 500 GB storage. The tier 3 costs $199 and the storage limit is 1 terabyte. There are also some other tiers and the highest tier is tier 5 it is going to cost you $499 and the storage is 4 terabyte there are also some subscription plans on a monthly basis so as you can see these are the subscription plans there is also an annual plan and keep in mind in the annual plan you are going to get two months free and these are all the features once you log into SFTP Cloud, you will get a dashboard like this. And these are the two instances I have currently. And you can create a new instance from this option. So what is an instance exactly? Let me show you that. So the instance in SFTP Cloud is equal to the SFTP or FTP server, which means the server where you usually store your files. So each instance you create in SFTP Cloud is considered a FTP server. And this is going to be managed by SFTP cloud which means it is going to be more secure and there are a lot of features to perform different actions in SFTP cloud since SFTP is already managing your instances which means the servers you do not have to worry about scaling updating or other maintenance tasks for your SFTP or FTP server or the instance because they are automatically done by SFTP cloud so back to the dashboard as you can see these are the two instances or two servers that I have created this is the server name and the server host and the amount of user so let me show you how to create a server or instance for that you have to click on new as ftp instance and then you have to select the location of your storage so it could be central europe or us east i'm going to choose central europe and then there is an automatically generated name you can obviously change this name if you want and then you have to choose the storage of the server or this instance so it could be sftp cloud which means you are choosing the native storage of sftp cloud which is 200 gigabyte of storage but you also have other options so you can bring your storage from other servers such as aws wasabi idrive and so many other types of options so if you choose any other platform such as aws you have to select the bucket name give the access key id key secret and the region and then create your sftp instance so i'm going to choose the native storage of sftp cloud which is 200 gigabyte of storage so let's click on create sftp instance so as you can see our instance or the server has been created as hidden spark and this is the host this is the users and these are some of the statistics of this instance so there is currently zero active connections the storage out of 200 gb i have used zero bytes so far there is only one user and this is the storage usage story so once you start uploading your files you can get the history in this section this is the recent event 
instance of your SFTP instance. There are some tabs on the middle such as the users tab. So there is currently one users only. You can create a new user simply by choosing a username and then clicking on create. The next step is files manager. So from here you can manage all of your files. But keep in mind you cannot upload your file directly from this SFTP cloud website. For that you have to download a client. I am going to get to that a bit later. So from this file manager you cannot upload files but you can create different directories. For example I am going to create a directory D1. So this directory is very much like a folder where you can upload your files and manage them. And then there is a very interesting section which is event listener so this event listener is a great feature that allows you to listen for specific events and trigger an action when that specific event happens and let me show you how to set up that so first you have to click on new event listener and then you can upload a name and what types of events you want to listen to. So for example, whenever someone uploads, one of your users uploads a file to your server, you want to listen to that. So you have to choose upload and you can choose a lot of different other options too. Then you can apply some filters if you want. These are the filters and then you have to choose the action. So whenever someone uploads a file, what types of action do you want to see so you want to get an email for example then you have to give your email in this box you can also choose webhook so i'm going to choose email and then type my email you can also add multiple actions if you want so i'm going to add only one and then click on create okay i have to fill this filter or i can delete it so let's delete this one and then click on create and as you can see the event has been created so every time a file is uploaded into the server i will get a trigger which means an email on the email address that i I gave earlier so now let's talk about the file uploading so as I said previously you can bring your files or the storage from AWS Google Cloud and some other platforms and whenever you want to upload your files you have to choose one of the recommended clients of SFTP cloud so these are the recommended clients there are FileZilla, WinSCP, CyberDuck and some other options so you have to choose one of these clients install one of these clients on your computer and then you have to connect connect this client to your server so how can you connect that let me show you that for that you have to go to the users tab for example you want to connect this hidden spark this server or this instance so go to the users tab and then click on the specific user that you want to connect so let's connect this one and these are the full authentication details so the username the password and all of the details are here for exact login details you have to go to connection details so this is a full details of all of your credentials so this is the whole the username the port the password and the FTPS port so by using these credentials you can connect one of these clients to this server and then you can start uploading files from those clients there are also some other options in the user details so you can change the permissions you can get your public keys and there are also the option to enable and disable sftp and ftps protocols a great feature of sftp cloud is that it even lets you use your own domain custom domain for that you have to follow this procedure so overall I think SFTP Cloud is an excellent tool if you are a FTP or SFTP user. It lets you manage your already existing cloud platforms very easily and very securely. But if you do not want to connect any of your past storages or in case you do not have one you can simply use FTP Cloud's own native storage which is 200 GB for the tr one license. SFTP Cloud is an excellent alternative to SFTP to go and these are some of the features that you are going to get from the Epson deal of SFTP Cloud and according to your storage need you can buy the license tier so the tier 1 gives you 200 GB storage the tier 2 gives you 500 the tier 5 gives you 4 terabyte there is also tier 3 with 1 terabyte and tier 4 with 2 terabyte storage so if you want to buy this Epson model make sure you check the link in the description box of this video so I hope you have found the video helpful if you do subscribe to our channel and like this video stay tuned for our next video goodbye